Dry Clox helps eliminate and prevent mastitis during the dry period. Use this product directly after the last milking. Start by milking out every quarter completely. To ensure your gloves are clean, thoroughly rinse them or put on a new pair of gloves. Dip the teats in a germicidal solution, allowing 30 seconds of contact time. Dry each teat with a clean, dry towel. Starting with the farthest teats, carefully swab them with the alcohol pads provided, using a separate pad for each teat. Allow the teats to air dry. Now, twist off the upper portion of the Optisert cap, being careful not to contaminate the tip. Gently insert the tube tip part of the way into the closest teat canal. A collar on the Optisert tip prevents you from pushing too far into the canal, reducing the risk of introducing bacteria during treatment. Infuse the entire contents of one tube into each quarter, working in the opposite direction of how the teats were cleaned. So infuse both teats closest to you, then the far ones. Withdraw the tube and gently massage the quarter to distribute the suspension. After dipping teats in germicidal solution, apply leg bands to identify treated animals. Follow all recommended milk withhold and meat withdrawal times. For dry clocks, there is zero milk withhold when used 30 days before calving, and a 30-day meat withdrawal after the last infusion. Because you work with these animals every day, you play a crucial role in protecting their health and well-being. Thanks for putting cattle first.